everyone. Welcome to November 3rd edition of the DEI Working Group for Chaos. I am Elizabeth, the community manager here, and uh, we have a very late group because <laughs> people are traveling this week and conferences and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we do have a couple of things to talk about if we want, um, if that's okay with you all. It, it, it's probably going to be a really short meeting, but I can share my screen so we can just go over the stuff. All right. Small but mighty is our group. Do we want to pick a facilitator for next week from the three of us that are here, here today? I nominate Matt. <laughs> I nominate Kafaya. <laughs> You know, I, I think I, I feel like I do it too much and I have too much airtime, especially with badging. But I'll do it if uh, nobody else wants to do it. You all could co-facilitate. Um, Matt can have it. Okay, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll put Matt down. <laughs> so we did number one, yay. All right. Number two is um, we have this onboarding form, which Matt has seen. Um, Kafaya, I don't remember if you were in the meeting when we showed it the last time or not. Um, yes, I was, but awesome. I don't know if there's been any changes made after we gave our comments. There has. Um, I showed it to at the community meeting yesterday, and there was some additional feedback. So okay. here's what the final form of the final form looks like. Um, we added the GitHub username per Matt C's suggestion, okay. and we added some links to what things are per a suggestion mm -hmm. from Ray in the community meeting. We also added some examples of like what things could be, and we added some translation. Nice. I think that's everything that was brought up. I've got uh, just a small bit of feedback on the feedback feedback. Um, we are going to be getting rid of that repository for the DEI badging. We're just going to have the event diversity and inclusion be the main point of contact. So I'll also put the link in here if you could possibly um, switch that over whenever you get a chance. Uh, where would I? So, so it says being a reviewer for the DEI oh. badging initiative. And then that link is actually going to be a, um, a dead repository coming up here soon because we folded it into the event diversity and inclusion one. Because it looks like we're going to be focusing only on events and then all in we'll be doing the project stuff. Okay. So we'll be doubling down on events. Okay, so this link here is going away. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I was reading it as the uh, as the old repository. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, sorry, I was misreading the link. Okay. My bad. I was looking at it as, as a GitHub link or something else. So um, you're talking about like the GitHub badge, GitHub slash badging is going away? Uh, GitHub slash badging slash uh, diversity and inclusion. So we, got, we had an extra repo that I thought that you were pointing to. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, you're totally fine. Um, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I see it in the chat now. Okay, yeah. I got you. Perfect. Oops. Okay, so if this is cool, then I will, uh, I will go ahead and send this out via Twitter. Um, and I'll put it in the mailing list and, oops, and uh, the newsletter. And then eventually we'll get it on the website, but no big. All right, um, we have uh, some old metrics. So last time we were looking at the, where was that? Here it is, code of conduct. And then Matt G was going to update <clears throat> that. And then we also had board diversity to look at for this week. Do we want to do that or do we want to wait till we have a bigger group to look at it? What do you all think? I'm fine either way, totally. I guess a bigger group might have more input. 
yeah, I agree with that. I kind um, of, yeah. I, I definitely um, can see that as well. Okay, so maybe we'll just hold until time. And then this sponsorship, if we have time next time, we can look at that as well. This is a, an older one as well. It was, I think the last, last commit was January 21st and it was just adding some bullets. So this is like a, a two-year-old metric, one of the ir original early ones. So um, probably can use a little refresh on that one as well. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, so moving on to last week, we had uh, also talked about cleaning up our technical debt with regard to like archiving some things. One of the action items we had was to make a new branch with the name archive, just so we're not like deleting anything. Um, but I don't know if someone did that. We yeah, had... it's a link uh, on that on that same line item in the current minutes. I just, I didn't know what that directive specifically was. So I just created a new branch and called it archive. Perfect. Okay, perfect. And then I don't know, how they want to go about moving this stuff off to that, but at least we have that. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. I'm sure um, someone like Garrick, who's really good at Git, might be able to help with that. Yeah, I just, I don't want to break anything, but uh, I totally understand, you know, why we would want to kind of clean that out and leave the focus on what's, what's active. Hi, Justin. Good to see hey. you. Hello. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm running late. You're fine. Oh my gosh, you're totally fine. There's a minutes for you. We're just Thank going you. through <clears throat> since we have a small group. Um, we're just kind of going through the agenda quickly. We're already on number four. <laughs> so <clears throat> cool. And um, I will just get caught up here. Okay. Actually, we're now on number five. Because <laughs> I think um, this cleanup of technical debt, we are going to wait till, well, we made the first step and now we're going to talk about it next time when we have a little bit bigger group as to what we're, what we need to do with these things. So. One thing to mention on number I, uh -huh. um, we have the meeting minutes archived there. We, al we also have at the bottom of the whole document where it says all previous minutes archived. Um, we have a link to a markdown file, but it's not being displayed in markdown. It's being displayed in some kind of base text format. Um, so I was wondering about if we have a way we can link to, if we're going to use that file in the repository, if we could just use that instead of this. So actually I had a, I did have an update on that. There was a pull okay. request that, that I made. Uh, I was doing some cleanup and I was going to, move those minutes because there was a lot of the meeting minutes that we had even before that doc. So I was going to try to clean that up along with that, uh, the link in Google Drive because it doesn't render right and put that into our re repo, but I just didn't circle. I was going to wait until this pull request got merged first before I, I followed up. Is this oh, awesome. the one you're talking about? Yep. Number 380. Yeah. I put that on the agenda to go through because we have a lot of issues as well and some pull requests that are older. So I, um, why don't we go ahead and merge that? Is that gonna break anything? I guess we'll find out. No, this one was really just moving some things around and following some of the, like putting like the GitHub documents all together per the documentation. Gotcha. And it was just trying to get things in place before I make another pull request with moving all the minutes and meetings and stuff around. So if that okay. gets merged, I can add that to my list for this week. Let me merge it right now. Yeah, I've already reviewed this one. It looks good to me. I guess I didn't say anything, but that's where I where I stand. Up. I, I don't know. I, I think it's really good to have everything just in one spot. Super. So I will add a to do on my list to get those meeting minutes moved into the GitHub repo. I'll give you a little ta-da. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. I did not add my review either, but I did look at it. So we're good. Uh, okay. So let's go over here back to the minutes and, oh, we need to go back up here. Okay. So action item. Uh, 
fixing the link, right? Is that what you said, essentially? Well, oh, migrating the old meeting minutes to GitHub. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. I still don't know how to. Oh, well, normally, if you want it's to really do it, yeah, you can. If you add them, it does it every time. I was wondering if it was just me, but this document is still sometimes really slow for me. <laughs> Not as bad as it was before, but sometimes it, it it takes forever to do an at or to do some of those pains. Only in this document, but you know, it's only going to let it let me assign it to me or Matt. Uh. <laughs> So you're okay. off the hook now. There you go. I don't know how. I got it down. Okay. <laughs> Bonus points to anyone that can actually figure this out. Uh, okay. Perfect. Anything else with this stuff? Any of this? All right. Um, next one on the list says badging outreach request. And I believe that's coming from Matt C. Why would Have you yet? say that? Oh, I got to fix my name. I always um, forget to fix my name. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going by the Matt Cantu now just so it's less ambiguous right now. <laughs> you. My name's fully changed. But Matt um, so, so as far as the outreach request goes, um, we were talking in the last outreach meeting yesterday actually about um putting putting together something some kind of shout out for viewers or um some kind of some kind of way to thank them we don't have their addresses so we can't just send them something we we're th kind of thinking of putting together a, some kind of event or doing shout outs on like twitter or something for individual reviewers to say thanks uh, especially like the most senior ones that have been around for a, a very long time and have contributed a lot to the project um we're thinking the event would be something like kind of like the badging hackathons, but less about getting something done and more about being thankful. Um, and I don't know, that's that's just what we, I, I was going to bring it to the group. Uh, might be a good thing to bring up next week, just because um, we ha we'll have a bigger sample size there. But if you'll have any thoughts, please share them here. Um, I think that's a great idea, and I'm happy to help you if you need extra hands. Thank you. That'd be great. So if, if you do want to send something, um, I do have an, an email that I use for chaos cast guests. Um, it basically just says, hey, we want to thank you. Well, thank you, but also we want to thank you more <laughs> by sending you a little note. Um, and then it says has a statement about, you know, keeping their personal private information secure and, you know, whatever. And if not, that's totally fine. But if you would like to, um, make that effort to do that it, it it can be a lot of work but um i can set, share that email with you if you would like yeah we already did a kind of a pilot of this with the badging stickers we sent out everybody a sticker and wrote, put them a handwritten note and that seemed to perfect um, go yeah. over well so if you if you'd like to share that email i'll go i'll take an action item to um just like get everybody's email personally that's a reviewer i, I probably need to do it as an action to myself um and i'll get the i'll get the emails together I'll, I'll send them to you or you can send me the email whatever works um okay that sounds good okay so i'll, I'll take that on okay and then as far as the tweets go um that is super we can absolutely do that i think that's really nice to do um if they're a twitter user uh, do we have a way of having their Twitter handles? Because I'd like to at mention them if possible. Well, ideally, I'd like to get consent before we send out a blast of someone's handle. So, like, I, I think yeah, of course, I'll probably just start asking around and see if anybody would would be okay with that. And uh, and if so, can I get your handle? Because I know we we list their names on the website. That we we get everybody's consent to do that, but I feel like. It, they might consent to that, but not a blast on Twitter or something. I'm not sure. Totally fine. Yep. Makes total sense. So just let, I, I guess, just let me know how I can help you and 
support you. Yeah, I'll have to put my brain together, back together first, and then um, and I'll, I'll get I'll connect with you on that. Okay, sounds good. All right, anything else? from badging that you all, that you need or wanna bring up? Uh, re release V3 was this Monday. Well, actually it was about five days before that, but <laughs> the, the official release is, uh, is Monday. And uh, we are so, we're just so grateful for everybody who's contributed to that and been a reviewer for that and everybody who's been involved. We're looking at um, applying to talk at FOSS backstage too in, in March. So um, hopefully uh, it, it won't be applying to a few different places, but that's going to be, I think, the big one that we apply to um, for events. So just keep an eye out for more talks on badging in the future. I'd like to uh, tweet about that and also put it in the newsletter. Um, is there a, a doc that kind of sums up what was changed in that? So I'm putting that together for Anita actually, as per the last meeting. But I do, if you look at the um, the badging weekly, um, one moment here, I'm on the wrong account. Uh, if you if you look at the badging weekly, we do have in that list of pull requests that were accepted, and it. it, it, it um, and all the all the things that we were work, aiming to do, it has our goals that we accomplished, and it also has a summary, a summarization of each pull request that was used. Uh, let me just share the link here. It might be easier that way. Um, okay, there's the link. And that um, that the second uh, the second meeting in the list should have a lot more. Uh, so it'd be. Um, October 27th should have all the merge pull requests and the goals that we accomplished. Actually, we accomplished every one of our goals, which is really nice. Okay, perfect. I will reference that then. Okay. Um, awesome. Let me just put an action item. Matt. Let's see if the app works. Yay. Okay. All right. Anything else on badging? Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of time. Um, so instead of working on this, um, reviewing these old metrics, since we have a smaller group, I think we can probably still look at some of the open PRs and issues, if that's cool with everybody, just because it's getting a long list. And some of these are old because they're kind of not easy to deal with. So they just sit there, <laughs> which is what happens a lot of times with things when they're not hard or when they're not easy to solve. So um, let's go down here. It looks like we have some, uh, some metric ideas. So at some point, if anybody wants to pull any of these out, these metric ideas and um, start writing them, totally fine. Um, but let's look at this one here. Inclusive, inclusivity and accessibility, <clears throat> section 508. This has been lingering on for quite a while. Um, Let's see. If you look at the bottom of uh, the bottom comment here, uh, I saw, I think this, I think that means I think this can be closed. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this and E closed. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not sure what section 508 is. Does anybody know here? No idea. <clears throat> And the page is not found. So cool. I have no idea that. I guess we could uh, Google it, but oops. Well, that is the internet work. Maybe. 
It looks like a legal aspect that um, we would, if we want to handle this, we'd have to open another issue and then follow up with the LF team. Because we have, we do a lot of our legal to them, of course. Yeah. Justin, do you know anything about this section 508 in, from your work? Oh. This one is new for me, actually. I know it's more in the, the US government side, but I haven't I haven't dug into or seen this before. I was just curious. Sorry. I was I was worried. I was looking at some of the other pull requests. Um, Sorry, <laughs> I, I merged. I merged one of them that was the following the discussion with Emma, but those were in the newer ones. So I, I think we should okay. keep looking at these older ones first. Perfect. I'll try, okay. I'll try to be more present here. <laughs> no, you're totally <laughs> fine. You're totally fine. I didn't mean to put you on the spot either. I just thought maybe since I know you do a lot of, of work in that space, or at least it touches on what you work on, um, you might have some thoughts sure. about it. No big deal. We're yeah, we just closed it. It's all it's all good. Uh, agree on a format for a metrics toolkit that makes application of metrics easier for people and projects. Yeah, so I think this is actually uh, what our metrics models are meant to do, um, where, uh, you know, they're looking at how to put things together to uh, give people a place to start. Um, this is actually maybe more activities, but. Uh, Publish a series of activities based on metrics, like a first aid. Okay. So the last comment was February 3rd, and it looks like we have a merge pull request and another closed issue based on this one. I'm wondering um, what the status of this is. I'm just going to tag Matt and Emma. There we go. How's that? I'm always kind of hesitant to close things uh, just because I don't, yeah, I don't know. Interview campaign with underrepresented groups in open source. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I do too. Do you feel like this was taken care of with the Linux Foundation survey or? I think thoughts? this one is a little more, a little more direct. So I think there's a lot of really interesting things that we're doing in our working group in terms of what we're trying to measure and capture. But maybe there are more opportunities for us to do some explicit outreach to some folks to get feedback on these metrics. Either maybe as it kind of fits into that metrics review that we've been doing the last. Mm -hmm. I missed the last couple of meetings, but I know we've kind of been trying to go through the older metrics and touch up on those. Maybe this could be complementary to that in terms of trying to think about maybe it could be trying to come up with a model for how would we do these kind of things or um, I just feel like there's there's there is a value here in trying to have conversations with folks from some of the groups that we're trying to support and um, work with but maybe it would be helpful to tie that into the the metrics review that we're doing now and if that would be a good opportunity to bring this back up there. Can I say revisit this uh, maybe like after the first of the year? Because uh, at some point before the next metrics release, which is April, um, maybe that would be a good thing to do. Like, what do you think? Yeah, I think okay. that makes sense to me. Next year is 2022, right? 
what year is this? 21. Yeah. Okay. I was just, it was occurred to me the other day that 2020 will have been two years ago. And that's still just, I, I have a hard time processing that. <laughs> yeah. Same. I feel like that with the year 2000 too. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like it was that long ago. Was yeah. A really long time ago. Okay. Uh, great. Awesome. Let me just read this. Okay. Uh, metric idea, metric idea, metric idea. Release notes. I think we close these, right? That's part of the yeah. process. Yeah, it's just to close this. Close this. And then do we need a, uh, oops, do we need a, uh, speaking of that issue, do we need an issue for the next release? Right, I would assume. I think that's what Kevin does. Yeah, I could tell Kevin about that or if you want to do it now. Well, I'll put it here and then Oh, yeah. I just did that. I don't know what else he puts in here. So I think it's just like a placeholder. Uh, let's see if there's a label to use. Oh, I think he CC'd the wrong person. He's clumb. This one is a. Uh... <laughs> This one says biostatistics and machine oh. learning. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Whoever you are, I'm very sorry. There it is. I did that once with Matt G and CC'd someone else at a different uh, thing, but they were really interested in chaos. So there you go. It was the same <laughs> interaction. <laughs> Boom. Now, if that person sees that notification and they come here, will they be super confused? Or will they be like? There is an edit history there. So okay. I guess it depends how savvy with GitHub they are. Yeah. How much they care about their notifications. <laughs> um, yeah, I get notified sometimes on stuff that's not mine because I'm just Elizabeth then. So, but yeah, most of the time I just ignore. Unless it looks like the other person is never going to come see it. So I'm like, yeah, you might want to get the right person. Okay. Cool. Oh, I was going to add a label. I think he does add a label to this, but I don't remember now what label it is. Uh, metrics release notes, I can add it. Metrics release notes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. All right. We're coming from the bottom up. So, uh, standard structure readme. I feel like that has been taken care of, right? Yeah, I, I think I think that did happen, oh. didn't it? Until the working group has time to address it. And we've had some commits on our README recently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if this was if this was covered. So we renamed the repository and moved some things around. Yeah, whatever it was, we uh, we did that. DEI damage and record read me. So we've done a cleanup. We've changed the name. We've changed the branch name. We also have a um, a big update for the readme that Matt did. Maggi. Yeah, I'm gonna just tag. Uh, Oh, I, I think this did happen. Number 356 in May, standardized repo structure in reference to 346. Oh, there's duplicate uh, issues maybe. Am I not looking at the right thing? Because here's, here's the pull request in the chat. I'll put the link. But there's also a duplicate issue. It's like 346. There was another one about standardizing the structure. 
346 is the issue and 356 was the pull, pull request. Okay, uh, nice sleuthing. Yeah, I think Yash will yell at us or he'll holler at us if uh, we didn't do that right or if there's something else that's still hanging out there. So it's all good. Cool beans. Look at us. Oh my gosh. We are so productive. On fire. <laughs> we are on fire. Code of Conduct this Enforcement. I found this one to be really funny because everybody said this is important and then we didn't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we did have that. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I guess I wasn't at the last meeting where you worked on the code of conduct. Um, we did work on code of conduct, but I feel like we are asking this in the review, DEI badging review, right? Actually, let's look at that code of conduct because I'm pretty sure, where was that down here? We worked on that a lot. So let's just make sure we, nope. Where was, oh, I don't know where our Google doc was that we were working on. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, these were the changes we were going to make. Let's see if we added information about insurance, understanding. I see enforcement, I yes. see a violation reporting. That the code of conduct is being enforced and not just the potential for enforcement. Yeah. So I think we're, we did put that in here, right? That's I'm also gonna look at code of conduct at event because this covers both of those, but I feel like, do we wanna keep it open until it's fixed on the release or do we wanna just close it mm -hmm. once we figure out what this was going on here? That's a good question, let's do that. It is not in the event code of conduct. The, the word enforced doesn't even show up. So okay. Actually. Um. Is that a, a metric we'll probably review? Do you all think? Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, new metric focus areas, virtual events or in-person events. Are there metrics associated with these focus areas yet? Trying to determine if this should go to the website now or if we should wait for an associated metric to be released. What do you all think about this? Trying to refresh on the focus areas now. It's been, I know we were having a conversation about updating them. I have to refresh my, <laughs> remember so, why I opened this. <laughs> so, focus, yeah, we have event diversity. But that's really it for events. 
so right now it's kind of become a big amalgamous like focus area with all the event stuff in it i think it is important to split this out between virtual and in-person events especially with like the recent split in the community in virtual and in-person events um, yeah I, i'm remembering this now the thing is we're gonna have to refactor like everything in the mm -hmm. event diversity so it would be it would be a big goal for a single release and it, it's kind of hard to do that when it's a, when the whole metric document is a working document I think Kevin's comment is probably about some of those um, event inclusivity metrics that we were working on. Well, he was working on it and I was going to work on one after him. Uh, probably making a roadmap for how we carry this one out would be helpful. I don't know if this would be help, good to kick, kick the bucket for another meeting or and like flag it for next week's agenda. Um, but I feel like a little more wider input would be helpful because it definitely will take some coordinated work to, to get that done. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's just put this in. Um, um, oops. Yeah, and to, to Kevin's question, we do have one, which is the, uh, where did it go? Which was this time inclusion for virtual events. Um, so that's specific to virtual. And maybe there are others, but yeah, okay, cool. All right, let's get through a couple more. Metric idea, metric release notes. Do we need to look at this? Do you remember what this is about, Matt? Uh, a bunch of merged PRs. Basically, we were trying to cha make changes to the inclusive leadership just right before release. I think that is all done. So I don't know. Oh yeah, I was looking at this earlier. There's a conflict. So we can't, I couldn't merge this. So we might have to look at this a little further. Okay. Oops. Um, okay, and then metric, metric, metric ideas. Okay, cool. Well, that seems to be all of the open um, issues that we can do stuff with. Um, I don't know what to do about these two. So like Lawrence had gone through and added some changes to our um, project burnout metric, um, but they were kind of extensive. And now uh, it's kind of really uh, out of sync. Um, and I noticed that you also had mentioned this when we were talking about the DCO stuff, Matt, which I appreciate you doing that very much because that was really the whole issue was that there was the DCO wasn't working. And then, um, oh, actually, if we get past this DCO, we could probably yeah. merge it, but. It's been in limbo for long enough um, that we probably need to do something with it instead of just yeah. leaving it on the bottom of the repo, but I'm totally okay. You know how opinionated, opinionated I am about DCO. We, I'm, yeah. I'm totally okay with just bypassing it. <laughs> I, I think it's implicit from the comment too. Yeah, PR. yeah, definitely. If they made an effort, I feel like that's about as much as CCO is going to bind, you know? Yeah. Um, I guess he was trying to make some changes to the headers. So I, will, it won't mess anything up if I change it, will it? If I merge this? I was also trying to remember if we were going to follow up with Ruth on these changes because it was a lot of, I remember there was like kind of a reinterpretation of some of the parts of the metric. I just wondered if we wanted to try to flag this with her. Yeah. It's been, it's been so long. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I, yeah. And I kind of am thinking like, 
I, I remember this now. And I think it was like, um, we had tagged Ruth and then she was, um, not around for a little bit or something was going on. And then it was just a lot to look through. And so I think it was a little bit overwhelming. Um, so I, I wonder if we should, um, I wonder, is project burnout going to be one of the metrics that we re-review for the next release? It's not super, super old, so I don't know, but It sounds like we need to make a list of what we're going to review for the next release and how many yeah. weeks we have to do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's put that on the agenda. What do we want? Some kind of criteria for what metrics are getting reviewed. Oops. So on back on this one, should we tag Ruth again to have her look at it? Or maybe we like next meeting, pull it up and everybody will kind of look at it together. Um, I personally know that um, Ruth has had a lot on her plate lately and hasn't been yeah, able to make it to meetings. So I'm thinking it might be good for the whole group. Yeah, I, I can ask her if you'd like. We've been talking on Signal for the morning, so I can I can reach out and get an, have an action item to get back. Okay, that would be great. And then if she's like, yeah, no, I don't, I do not have time to do this. Then we'll just pull it up at the next meeting and talk about That's it. Good. That'd be great. Thank you, Matt. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, this was kind of in conjunction with the burnout. Yeah, so there are actually these two that has that have conflicting yep. files. So I'm not really sure what to do with this. Um, oh, this one had conflicting files as well. Oh, Justin already commented. Yeah, some of those more recent ones I was I was trying to get through. Um, get through and there were some merge conflicts. But I think both of them are are fine to merge once the, the conflicts are fixed. Okay. And I think Matt, this one was your uh your conflict also. So um if you aren't able to resolve any of these, just let us know and we can just redo a PR based on like the more updated one or do yeah that was kind of silly because i changed my github name to matt cantu snell and uh it was i put in matt snell and it said no that's not right <laughs> so uh, i i will just resubmit the pr with the fixes it's it's basically a metric change but we already already agreed on it in the meeting okay perfect awesome 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 well we are about out of time this was so productive ah i love you all so much oh my gosh we're on fire today and yeah now y'all you, you can just take the rest of the day off because we've, we've done our our fill so <laughs> everybody can just yeah have the rest of your day um we have a thing for next week yeah matt c okay perfect uh anything else before we shut the meeting off nothing from me all nothing right from me. All right, thank you all so much for being here and for paying attention and getting us through these issues and some of the backlogs. So appreciate it and have a great day. We will see you all later on. Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.